So for the game, Darius Phillips, he'll be out, and all these other guys are gonna be questionable. So Quinn is questionable, Pat, Sertan, Jerry, Judy, uh, KJ, Josie, Billy, Tyree, Jonathan Cooper, Draymond, and Mike Purcell. We saw Judy out there today doing individual work. How much progress has he made to make you think he's got a shot? Yeah, he's doing a, he's doing a good job. He's doing everything he can. You know, he wants to be out there. He wants to be out there for the team. Uh, and so we'll see. We'll take it continually day by day. Could that be a game time with him? Yeah, you know, again, we're going to go day by day. You know, we've got a long time now before that next game. So just want to be sure we do the right thing. We're, we're working through that stuff. Yeah, it's a unique one. Yes, yep. Are some guys maybe more questionable than others? Because if not, that seems like a lot of guys you'd be without if they all. Yeah, I mean, right now we've been dealing with it day to day, and uh, we just want to keep it that way and make sure we're doing the right thing with all of them. You ever seen this many injuries kind of pop up this early in the season? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it happens a lot. I mean, talking to, guy, to guys across the league, you know, there's, there's all kinds of stuff going on, and um, the idea is just continually keep them healthy, make sure they're good to go. Yeah, I mean, he did a great job stepping up. I mean, he was uh, did a really good job in the run game, blocking, uh, and he also did a, made some good plays in the pass game. So I think that it's it's great to have him out there if he's going to be out there and uh, watching him. I mean, he caught a great out route, then finished it afterwards once he uh, once he caught it and turned it up the field. So we're very confident in him and, and excited if he get, gets to go out there. What does it take even more caution with uh, Draymond since it's a neck injury, and how do you handle that? And when did that injury happen? Yeah, it, I believe it was yesterday, and we're just we're working through all that stuff. I mean, I hate to continually say that, but with it being so soon, you know, we just want to make sure that everybody's good and we're treating it the right way. Yeah, he's done pretty good. I mean, uh, again, because of the limited role that we've had the guys in practice, still trying to get all the reps, uh, we wanted to be able to test them and see them, but at the same time, not overload them uh, by any means. But uh, he's gone out there, and we've asked him to execute. He's done a good job. Russell has been one of the better dual threat quarterbacks in the league the last 10 years, but he hasn't run really yet. Yeah, he hasn't. <laughs> Would you like him to uh, a little more? You know, I mean, in, in, in essence, that means that he's going through the progression and distributing the ball the right way to all the different people, and he's everybody's choreographed and on time together. So I think that when you see that, uh, that's a good sign because when he has to run, you, you know he's going to break out and do certain things, whether it's a scramble drill or gaining yards with his feet. Um, but right now, you know, he's been able to distribute the ball throughout the progression. Do you feel good about all the extra things or little things, Coach Otten talked about cadence, variation and stuff, the things you're doing to hopefully, I guess, improve your game day operation stuff. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, it's a growing process. We're all together for the first time, and uh, Russell's been in one place for a long time, and now he's with us, and we're working through it with him. He's working through it with the, the guys on the field and all of us, and I think it's a growing process for all of us, and uh, we're going to continue. You always have to have that because you always want to keep the defense uh, off their rhythm, so uh, it's just something we got to keep getting used to. What is the key to dealing with the stuff in general this week? Because, you, you know, with the game day operation stuff, all the things you've done, do you feel good about that stuff? I yeah, no, I mean, every day we get better. You know, we always feel like we're always growing. We're always getting better, both me to Russell, Russell to the team, and how we operate and everything. And uh, we just got to keep getting better. What are the keys to stopping two of their best guys? That's Bosa and Kittle. Or slowing. They're, they're generally not stopped. What are the keys to slowing those two? I mean, Bosa, I mean, he's he's obviously a very good football player. I mean, his motor is unbelievable. You could put all kinds of people on him, and he's still going to fight through everything. So, uh, again, you just have to slow those guys down. You have to make them think. Uh, you have to make sure that they know they just can't tee off on one guy. Um, so we'll do everything we can to be able to help that out. And uh, you said Kittle, too, right? Yeah. I mean, Kittle's a – I mean, he's a beast. And this will be his uh, first game back if he's back. And, um, I mean – He's one of those guys. You got to understand. He's going to get his catches. It's about the run after the catch. We got to be make. We got to make sure that we tackle really well on him. What resources do you guys put into as a staff scouting officials and preparing guys to say, okay, this ref calls more holdings or false starts or things like that? Yeah, we present that to them today, so they get to see who the refs are, who's going to be calling it, and all that stuff, and let them know who the crew is, what their what their kind of record is in the past on how they're calling things, and you let them know and. Let them understand that you know we've got a lot of penalties up to this point, so those guys that are coming in here understand that, 
And those refs know that and kind of based off where they call penalties that they'll be looking for that stuff. So we just got to play uh, with proper technique and not do some of those extracurricular activities. Alex Singleton, the last two weeks, kind of stepping in for Josie with that injury. What's just been your impression? Leading the team in tackles, couple passes, I mean, he's been a good player for a while. He's got a lot of experience. Uh, when he got in there, he didn't skip a beat. He went right in there and got after it and was able to lead the team, organize the team, get him set up. And, uh, you know, I think he's done a really, really good job. We're really happy to have him. Last one, Eric. Uh, the Niners went to the NFC Championship game last year. Do you appreciate and kind of embrace the challenge of playing one of those better teams in the league? Where, where you guys stand? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, you want to play the best teams all the time to always continually push yourself. And, you know, if you want to be successful in this league, you're going to have to beat the best in the league. So it definitely gives you kind of a gauge on where you are, how the guys compete, um, how they respond, especially in prime time. Because, you know, if you get to that next step, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So um, I think it's a great learning experience and a great opportunity for everybody.